Fight Squad, so what's up? It's your girl Tiff, aka Mama Frida. Anyways, as everybody knows, I am so, so busy as a family member of the collective, or as everybody else knows it, anonymous, um, fellow sister, hello sisters of the world, and by this I mean of various countries and the United States. And um, so I came up here real quick, guys, now that I have a finally a minute to myself. And I just wanted to do this quick vlog. So we went to that event that I told you guys. And so basically it was Project Homeless. Even though it wasn't exclusive or inclusive to just the homeless. People who do have homes in various circumstances unfortunately. Um, it was basically open to anybody who walked in. So we decided to go. My kids were super thrilled. I think the only one who wasn't too stoked about it was my newborn son and that's because he was stroller ridden he was stuck in there for a good chunk of time but glory be to god we went and came home and we had to clean upon arriving home but let's talk a little bit about this event so they had the las vegas metropolitan police department they had um nevada ham they had um homeless housing assistance um they had a thanksgiving lunch and di um breakfast and various, various other organizations, including but not limited to Dina Titus, uh, Liberty Dental, which works with uh, the Las Vegas Medicaid, if you didn't know, um, and many other organizations out there. The only organization I didn't see was the UNLV Lead Testing, which my uh, real brother uh, is currently employed uh, with them. And so, yeah, it was an awesome turnout. They also had a store. But unfortunately, by the time my four kids and I got to it, there wasn't that much stuff. So, I know you guys heard him. But anyways, so they had diapers, a few toys. They had shoes, but they were really raunchy looking. Um, and socks, we got a whole multitude of socks that I'm so grateful for that because my family for whatever reason, especially my husband and my two older daughters, they go through socks like it's going out of style, man. I don't even know what it is. But I love them for who they are, so it's all good. And I just wanted to, you know, on behalf of the Las Vegas Valley and the community at large, thank you, Project Homeless. You guys have made a immense difference in a lot of lives today. Um, even though it seems like the impact was limited to just exclusively this area, believe it or not, you made such a incredible huge impact on so many lives, including mine and my kids and pretty much all of the homeless surrounding this area. And it was very eye-opening to go to this event, to say the least, because you actually had the opportunity of seeing those who really struggle and man i have got to tell you guys this one heart to another and i really feel this way in my heart like it hurts my heart to see how many men and women and children are struggling and not only that but you know these people are the most compassionate most intelligent homeless people i've been surrounded by and i don't know if i ever shared this with you guys but back in 2010, after I gave birth via C-section uh, due to an emergency to my oldest daughter, um, a homeless man, I was walking right down the street on Nellis. For those of you who are not native of Las Vegas, I suggest you look it up on maps. But we were walking um, northbound on uh, Nellis Boulevard, and we were attempting to go to Target because that day I needed baby stuff, and my husband was at a group home. And basically, I was by myself with my daughter at that time. So, you know, doing what I needed to do to provide was just not an option. And I was young and kind of wild and free at that time. So I decided to go walk in. And one minute, I seen this monster truck speeding up to where my daughter and I were. Of course, keep in mind, my daughter's in a stroller car seat the whole night. Well, as I was preparing to cross the street... Um, I was abruptly pulled back and I looked back and I was like, huh. And this one gentleman who was homeless at that time pulled me back and he told me, hey, I'm a retired veteran. 
Um, you know, I'm struggling economically. This is why I'm out here. And, you know, first off and foremost, I want to say a humble thank you to that gentleman because it's, uh, you know, 13 years down the line and to this day. And it makes me want to cry because I can't imagine, you know, losing my daughter and, you know, you know, I haven't had that opportunity to express my gratitude to this guy, you know, and I wish that no matter where he's at, I hope he's stable and he's healthy, and I know that um, when you're homeless, your health is often at stake, you don't have nutrition, you go starving, you don't have food, you don't have water, you don't have the most basic of anything, and I've been wanting for the past 13 and a half years to humbly say thank you to this guy because my husband would be without a wife and a daughter. And keep in mind that my uh, nine and a half year old daughter, which is the one that was almost involved in that accident along with me, was our first child. So I can't even begin to um, express my gratitude to him. And it was a homeless veteran that saved our lives. And um, to all of you homeless veterans out there, I just got to say, you know, keep praying, be honest to your, your heart, and, you know, God will provide for you. But, and it's just a matter of time before you get off of the streets, before you, you know you're stable. I know that right now it's a perilous time. I know it's scary, but as long as you stick together in a group of other fellow homeless people, you should be fine. Um, and obviously, you know, not be obviously where you can be well seen. You got to kind of be behind the scenes, if you know what I mean. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to say a humble thank you to this gentleman that it's been 13 and a half plus years. And, you know, glory be to God that my life hasn't been anything short of amazing. You know, I've just been so blessed. You know, I have now I'm a mom of four kids. I'm a homeschool teacher. I've been married for 13 and a half years. And um, I'm thriving, you know, and I'm blessed for that, you know, and I've had every odd stacked up against me, just as you guys also feel. I can't even imagine, and I do empathize with you guys, and I truly wish I could give every homeless veteran, man and woman, a hug and just thank you guys for your service and apologize on behalf of the U.S. military and this country that they don't do more to help you guys. And, um... You know, just keeping it real, basically, and, you know, just expressing my immense gratitude to this gentleman um, who saved my life. He pulled me back by my shirt, and if he hadn't done that in the exact moment when he did, my daughter and me would not be here. My other daughter and my sons wouldn't definitely be here if we had passed away. So I am so grateful to you, and I wish for one day to come, just, just one that I could see you again and just give you the biggest hug ever and express my gratitude to you because if it hadn't been for you my husband would be without a wife and without a daughter and so I'm so so grateful to you you have no idea I mean words can't express my gratitude for you because of you and God, I'm still here and I'm living through another day. And I don't know where you're at. I don't know what your circumstances are right now. But I pray in Jesus' name that wherever you're at, you're touched by faith. And that God moves through you and for you. And he protects you most of all while you're out in this wilderness. And going through a storm yourself. And I know that he will bless you because he's seen your struggle and your hurt and your tears. So please keep faith, and I promise you, somebody's going to enter your life that's going to change it forever. And, um, anyways, other than that, you guys, this event was just so eye-opening. I am so thankful to the community uh, at large. Thank you um, to the countless organizations that were there. Um, and most of all, thank you. Uh, Project Homeless because of the Thanksgiving feast that you guys gave during lunch. It was special because I had been rejected by family and, you know, they basically 
told me straight away no to my face and you know my kids felt rejection you know in their hearts and you know they're finally I had never seen their smiles so big and they were so happy just to sit at a round table with fellow people you know who are going through similar struggles as us and just to enjoy a full hearty meal and feast so I really sincerely from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it um, because of you guys this Thanksgiving was possible and you know you just made it so much more worthwhile and I want to thank everybody who was out there at Champion Center today serving the community and you guys serve the you know the Lord's purpose and have done your work for the day so y'all can just take a break now and relax and prayers for all of you I hope all of you keep faith and stay strong Love you guys. Bye.